Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim for Assembly God in Burlington, Canada. I hope you're having a great day. It is Thursday. It is September the 6th. And yeah, I'm in the sanctuary at church. And, and I just want to encourage you that uh, we're, we're talking about the two roads. We're, we're talking about you decide. And, and you decide is pretty simple because we love to make choices, each one of us. Well, so let me give you a couple signs uh, of that you're on the road to lead to life. Number one, your faith. Faith is trusting in something that your senses cannot pick up on. Faith is doing things without being able to know the outcome. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, but the opposite is true. The reward of faith, trust, and dependence upon God is that that leads to praise Him. Your righteousness, listen, that means to be right. Jesus said that those who hunger and thirst after righteousness will be filled. Also, the third sign is your humbleness. Your humbleness is to be humble means to lower yourself, to realize that you are nothing. The Bible tells us that if we will humble ourselves in the sight of the Lord, of, of the Lord and that he, he will lift us up. The fourth sign is, is your, your love for others. This is a key point. We are told to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. We then are then told that to love your neighbor as yourself. How do we love God that way? By obeying his commands and loving others. The fifth sign that we see in this is, is what your desires, what motivates you, what's your priority. Those things that show up as important to you. The psalmist tells us that God fulfills the desires of those who fear him. He hears the cry of, and, and saves them. Psalms 145, 19. Why we can see all the wonderful blessings of following God, we also have to see the consequences that, that is in this passage of Scripture. And you might say, well, what do you mean, the consequences? There's choices in, in, in everything that we do. In, in everything that we do. And, and what I'm talking about is, is your faith and, and, and your righteousness and your humbleness and the love for others and your desires and putting your trust in the Lord. And this is the road that is on the narrow path, which is, you know, a lot of people don't like church because they think it's all about a bunch of rules. But it's not about a bunch of rules. It's about following the Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And you might say, well, what about those big 10 that, that we, we, we always hear, the big 10, the things that we can't do? But you know what? You can do so many more things that are, is, is healthy and viable for your life for the Lord if you give your life to Him and watch what He does in your life. And see, the fact is, following Christ is a, is a place of freedom. See, as a, as a Christian, I don't have to worry about the things and, the, and the, uh, the, the, the addictions of this world. I follow Christ. I follow Christ with all my heart, and, I, and, I, and, and there has been a big change. Growing up, I, 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 my mom was a Christian, and, and she, we, I remember every morning before school, she'd open this book and, and read devotions. And let me tell you, I was not, uh, I went to church, but really wasn't interested in it because all I heard was blah, blah, blah. And maybe, you know, you might feel that too sometimes, but the fact is, somewhere in the midst of my teenage years, the Lord got a hold of my heart, and, and and I've been in the ministry for uh, a little bit over 20 years, just, just knowing that God has a plan and purpose. And here's my belief. As I'm talking to you, God has a plan and a purpose for your life. He does. He has a calling upon your life. If you'd say, God, I'm going to follow you with all my heart, mind, and soul, you watch how he'll direct your path. The doors that will open to you. We watched the, the video called The Doors at the beginning. Choices. There is doors in front of you. And so up to you what you do. It's your choice. But I just want to tell you that following Christ in my life it has been so beneficial and so, so much full of joy. I, I love what I do, and, and, and I love who I am. And so God has blessed me. So may God bless you today. Let me pray for you. Lord, I thank you so much. I pray that you give them a great day. And Lord God, may they really consider what I talked about today. Lord, may they listen to your still small voice in your name. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.